So in this video, we want to take a look at SiteGround and how we can build our own website with it. And normally SiteGround is very well known for its WordPress hosting capabilities. But nowadays they also have a website builder here. So they started their own website builder and this is the one we want to try out today. Before we start, you will find a link to SiteGround down in the video description. It's a partner link down there and you get a special deal with it. And you can also start using it for free and testing it out. So all you need to do is click on start for free and then sign up for SiteGround. Just click start building your site. And once you've signed up at some point, you will land on this page and then it says you are all set and you have a demo site to launch. So let's get started. And now we can choose our own template and they have some templates, not too many, but it's also good because then you don't have too many choices. So just browse through and take a look at them and choose the template which you really like. And no worries, you can also change this later. So I do like this one. Then you can click on preview and take a look at the site. Of course, the images are all AI generated, but the site looks very clean and very organized. So I'm really happy with this. And it's it's also mobile optimized. So when you click here on mobile, you can see it's also for mobile sites. Let's click apply because then we can start using the template and adapting it to our content. Now we are in the dashboard of the site admin area from SiteGround, from the website builder. And here you can later on also do some marketing, like install your Google Tag Manager, do some on-page SEO. And you will also see your analytics, like how many people come to your site and how many sessions you have generated and what kind of keywords they were typing in into Google. And here under settings, we can also set the time zone where we are at. For example, I'm based in Germany, in Berlin, so I can just type it in and also the site language. If you have a different language, you can choose it from here, but I will just now stick to English and hit save. And let's go back to the website builder because this is where we now can start editing the site. If you're not sure about the template, you can also change it here. Every time you want to do that, just click here and then you are back to the templates. But I was happy with it, so I can just click on customize. And now we are in the website builder of SiteGround. And here you have all the pages which are live. You have the global sections like the header and the footer. And we can later on adapt this. But now let's just jump into the site and see how we can edit this. So for example, if we want to change the picture to our own, we can just click update and then you will land here. It's a picture gallery. So but I want to upload my own picture. So I go on browse files. And then I can upload my own picture and click update. And now it's already in there. So that was very easy. And now we can just go ahead and edit the text. For example, welcome to my health care site and just adapt it to your liking. So this is a paragraph now, but if I want to have this as a heading, I can go with heading one and make it even bigger if I want or change the style of the text and of course the font size. So I make it XL or maybe large and this is very nice now. So I'm very happy with that. And then I can hit enter and then I just put in like a subheading, something smaller in medium size and then I can just type in some text. So this would be the welcome text. If you're also a bad writer like I am, I can recommend you going to ChatGPT, just type in the website text you need and then ChatGPT will do it for you. But you get the idea, you can just click in and edit the text, the font size and the font style. You can also link something so you can just here is my YouTube channel for example and then you can just highlight YouTube channel and then you can put a link there either to a page of your website or a custom URL like an external URL or like an email address phone number or even access to a file so that's pretty cool that they have all these options and then you just hit apply and it would be linking to my YouTube channel in this case so for example I can just take the video here and then choose custom URL put it in and click apply and if someone would now click this link they would directly come to this video. And while we are at it, linking is also very important for buttons because the sole purpose of a button is to link somewhere. So this is a button and it can link also to a page, to a URL, email address and phone number. For example, I could be like, okay, contact us and then I can choose the page contact and hit apply and just change the text contact 
us and when people click the button now they will directly land on the contact page and once we have linked the contact page here on the page and then contact just hit apply and then you can click on preview and preview the website and then when someone clicks on contact us they will directly be redirected to the contact page same goes for the youtube channel if i click on it it will directly link the visitor to youtube so that's quite nice now we already know how to update our pictures how to update and edit the text and change the style of the text and how to link buttons and really important before you start changing the colors individually here from the text or from the background here here. you have a section here which is called style and then you can go on colors and here you have the option to change the whole appearance of the site so you can choose from different color templates and see what kind of color template suits your brand and your taste best so just play around with that yeah I kind of like this color here and then I can go back here on styles and if I want to have a different font I can also just click on it and just have a different font styling and see what kind of font I like for my site for example this one is a little bit more classic so I can choose this one and yeah same goes for shapes do I like round buttons or sharp buttons so I can just change that really quickly this is mainly for colors so it's really important that you don't change the color of every text and every background just choose a main color theme and then you will be consistent on your site and now let's go on so this was the first section then we have a second section here and you can update also the images here if you like just change them you can also just move the whole section down or up if you don't want it or you can just also delete the entire section and some sections consist of more than one column so here you have one column two columns three columns and if you like to have five columns for example you can just go here and click on five columns or just make it three depending on your taste you can just edit the columns and also the rows here and you also have some editing sections here so you just play around with it it will just change the style of this section and then we would go ahead and do this for every section so now you can just jump in edit the text change the link here and change the pictures and speaking of pictures sometimes you don't have your own pictures for every kind of scenario so you can just click on update and SiteGround is connected here to the unsplash gallery which is quite nice because it's a global database for pictures and here you can just type in healthcare for example and just click on search and now you have various different pictures for healthcare. So I can choose this one, for example, and then hit apply or update. And then it will change me my picture to this one. So that fits way better on my site than the previous one. If I don't like it, you can always undo the things. You can just click here and say undo, but I like the new picture better. So I'm very happy. So I redo the whole thing and it gets automatically saved. So you don't have to worry about that. And speaking of worrying about, you also don't have to worry about mobile views because it's also already optimized for mobile so you can switch the toggle here to mobile view and you can see everything fits the mobile screen but let's go back to the desktop view because we have a lot more things going on on this page this is just the home page we will come to the other pages in a minute but first let's take a look at the header so we can just click here on header and then we can select a different layout so you can just have the menu here have the menu in the middle and choose a different style for the header for example, you can make it white or you can make it blue. I actually like the white version best. And normally I like my logo at the left and the menu at the right like this. And speaking of logo, here you have the option to just type in, for example, Julian's health care. So this would be just a name then and it doesn't look too good to be honest that's why you can upload your own logo and you can just choose the file of the logo and then it will be inserted here and speaking of having your own logo if you don't have your own logo I can recommend you Canva I will also link it down in the video description it's a also a partner link so thank you a lot if you use my link either from SiteGround or Canva or whatever I recommend here and there in Canva once you've signed up just type in healthcare logo and then 
it will show you a lot of different healthcare logos to choose from and they're quite professional so they're very nice and you can start using them for free so i can for example just choose this logo here and then i can just go in healthcare new york for example if you have a healthcare center there and then really important you can just download it from here with the transparent background and when you use my link make sure you use the 30-day premium test trial because then you have this option because normally you have to pay for this option to have png files with a transparent background but now i can click download and now it's downloaded back to our site and here i can just choose the file and now it's in there and here i can also take care of the size of the logo so i can make it bigger smaller and what i see now that the arrangement is not perfect so i will just go back into canva and change it really quickly for me like this because website logos are better off if they are horizontal instead of vertical logo alignments yeah then i can just i take a quick screenshot for now it's because it's simpler go back to our site and upload the new screenshot and now I update it and as you can see it looks a little bit better so this is how you would upload your own logo and below there really important you have the fav icon or favicon and this is the icon you will see here so when someone has the tab open this is the icon for example of canva of chat gpt and siteground already uploaded our logo for this so this is really nice but normally with a favicon, you don't need text because no one can read it anyways. So you would go ahead and just choose to make it bigger and just download this one back to our site and then we upload this logo and now just select it and click update yeah we will see later on if we go on preview and then live website you will see the favicon here but now it needs to update so let's wait a minute or two and yeah this is the header and we will come to the navigation very soon and when we add new pages but let's take a first look at the footer because here down here this is the footer and here you can also just upload your own logo or just put like uh, medicarenewyork.com or something and you can also show social media links so you can just go here and then make it white first the color of the icon and then you can add instagram you can add youtube you can add LinkedIn, for example, and then you just change the links here. And when someone clicks on Instagram, YouTube or LinkedIn, they will directly be redirected to your profile. And yeah, copyright 2025 and powered by the credit links, like powered by SiteGround. We don't want to have this because we're paying for it. Then we can just hit here this toggle and it will disappear. So very easy, very straightforward. Now the homepage is ready. Like we uploaded our own pictures, our own text, change the color of the thing, have the footer here and have the header with our own logo and really important if you have some policies like terms of service or data policy then you can display them here so privacy policy and terms of service and if you click policy settings you will be redirected to this page in your admin area and here you can put in the text for your privacy policy which your lawyer gave you and you can also add like new things for example uh, if you have an online shop or something like a return policy and just name it and put in the text and it will be displayed then down at the footer here on your site so that's really cool that everything kind of works automatically so yeah this was the home page really nice and let's take a look at other pages so therefore we just click on content and here you see what kind of pages we have we have an about page we have a contact page we have an FAQ page and you can now just jump in for example here in the FAQ section you can just jump in and add a new item and then just click on the text again and make it your own question and then just type in the answer and now you already added a new FAQ item so you would go ahead and just check out all the pages let's first take a look at contact then because this is kind of important that people can contact you via your website here just hit the section and now you can just put in your address and your phone number and your email address and with your phone number really important just copy it and link it because when someone clicks on your phone number on mobile it will automatically open up their phone app and it will directly dial your number so now it's a link 
and when people click it it's directly linking to it same goes for the email just click on the link symbol and go on email and then put in your email address here and it would automatically when someone clicks it open up outlook for example or gmail and then they can start writing you and they can also start writing you here because here they can put in their name the email address and the message and it will automatically go to this email address you can of course change this to your own send this email to i don't know minus contact at julianweber.com and the subject line and here's the thank you message this will appear after a person typed in the message and then clicked contact and you can kind of rearrange the whole thing left to right and down here you have a card a google map which is quite nice because here you can just type in i don't know for example loss angeles and put in your address and it will directly take you to los angeles and you can just for example zoom in a little bit and now this would be then your address in best case scenario of course so this would be the contact page it will be automatically saved again back to content now we already have an about page here of course upload your own images upload your own team members and just put it in and we also have a service page where we have all our offerings if you don't like the service page you can just just delete it so just hit delete or if you don't like the about page just delete it and it will be deleted and it won't be shown in the menu either and of course we can also add new pages so just click on add new page and here you have some templates for it so for example the about page which we just deleted we can just take it for example this one or i do like this one and then you can click add and here you can just set a name about us and really important you have the url slug it's called so this is your domain slash about us and you have some seo settings so the page will be found on google here you can just type in the title which you then will see on google and the seo description make sure that you put in some keywords for example if you have a healthcare center in new york just say this is the healthcare center in new york and so on it makes it easier for google to find your page and so this is now it we can also have a social media description here and here you can also upload an image for the page so for example if someone shares it on whatsapp they will see these thumbnail and when they click on it they will land on your page so these are all the site settings and most importantly of course we need to take it live so just put it on live and click publish and now the website is live and now you would go ahead and just upload your own images texts and your story your mission and so on but what you see is that the page is not in the menu yet so therefore we click on navigation and here we need to add a new item and just call it about us and then we can select the page and choose the about page and add it to the main navigation and just click add item and now it's here and the cool part is we can rearrange this so for example we can just put it here or if you want to have a sub menu you can just go to the right just grab it and then it will be like a sub menu of services so let's check this out in the preview if someone goes on service then this would be the about page under the Neath it so you can just click it and then you will land on this page the about page but of course since it's a really important page we don't want to have this as a subcategory then you can just drag it out and it will be its own menu item right here so now let me think i think that was pretty much it because we have all the pages we edited the header the footer so now we just need to hit update and it will be updated so every changes we did will be pushed to our site let's click confirm and now SiteGround run an update for us and we can see here now the live site is changed so we when we go on home and update it we will see this is my picture here I linked to the YouTube channel and so on and we made changes here privacy policy Instagram and we have our own about page really important it's automatically saved but you need to push it and when you made an update then the whole entire site will be refreshed and all your updates will be live and yeah let's go back to the site admin and here you have yeah we talked about it marketing analytics see how many people are on your 
site. And the last thing you need to do, if you don't have a domain yet, then you can change the domain. Just click on change domain. And here you can just type in your new domain, confirm it, and then search for it. And at some point, of course, you need to upgrade because it's a paid service after all. They just let you test it for free. But once you decide to upgrade and connect your own domain, then you need to hit confirm. And if you want to try it out now, don't forget, you will find the link to SiteGround down in the video description. It gives you a good deal. And at the same time, you're helping me and my channel to grow a little bit. Thank you a lot for listening and see you in the next video. Good luck with your new SiteGround page.